Okay, we're just going to look quickly at making bokeh more circular in images where it's present. So I can take an image here with a fairly shallow depth of field, and the first thing I'll do is duplicate the background pixel layer. Then I want to go to filters, blur, maximum blur, and check circular, and then use a radius to taste. I'm going to use a fairly large radius because I want quite a pronounced circular bokeh effect here. And click apply. And then the maximum filter tends to result in some quite sharp edges and also some banding, especially if you're working with 8-bit imagery. So one way around that is to use a Gaussian blur just to sort of round the sharpness off a bit and also reduce the banding. Then we'll click Apply. Okay, so far so good. So then all we need to do with this bokeh layer is add a mask layer and then go into the mask layer, select it, pick up the paintbrush tool here and I'll use a fairly large width of maybe a bit more than that, maybe about 500 pixels. Reduce the hardness, ah, which means I'll have to use a greater width. There we go, 800 pixels will suffice. And then across on the color panel, what we want to do is make sure our color is set to black, as black will paint off the mask. So we just then paint our subject back out like so. Until we think we've got the entire subject. But a great way to check is to Alt or Option click the mask and you'll get a black and white preview. So then we can see the areas that we need to go over just to make this entire section where the dog is completely black. And then as soon as we click back onto a layer it resets to seeing the overall composition. Okay, so if I then hide that layer, we can see quite a dramatic difference in the background bokeh. Using the maximum filter does tend to raise the overall brightness of the layer it's applied to. So to counteract this, what we can do is add a brightness and contrast adjustment. And we're going to click drag it and nest it as a child layer into the bokeh layer. So make sure you've got that vertical blue bar, then release. And we'll just increase the contrast like so, and maybe just knock the brightness down a tad. And also while we're here, I've just spotted where I haven't quite painted off the mask, so we can select the mask again, select the paintbrush tool and just run the brush over that area. So there we go, just a nice simple technique to make your bokeh more interesting. And of course, being non-destructive with these adjustments and masks, you can always go in and tweak them afterwards if you're not quite satisfied with the tonal result. So I hope that was helpful and has given you some ideas. If you have any more questions or queries, please do ask on the Affinity forums and don't forget to check out the other video tutorials. Thank you for watching.